Located were some images of her posing. She did have lingerie on, but they were within a brown envelope concealed on the side of her suitcase. Today, Peter has fielded a female Chinese passenger who is of interest to immigration. Given the information available, she's coming from Hong Kong. She's here for a short duration, took us where she not long ago. Um, she is of interest to us, so we've brought her down to her search area and just going to have a look through her bags. But there's one hitch. The woman has forgotten her combination. Obviously, we can't proceed with opening it, so we're going to break it. Yeah. A translator has already asked the woman for her combination and she claims not to know it. You sure you don't know the PIN number? <laughs> yep, I think it's a no. <laughs> yep. The woman is remaining silent but can speak some English. Yeah. Oh, yeah? When you say here. Oh, okay. You That's your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, we'll, we'll put that in there. It looks like it's quite important. Sorry. I mean, she says she hasn't been to New Zealand before, but it's a coincidence she's carrying a Vodafone SIM card. Peter finds a Kiwi SIM card hidden in some slimming pills, and he's now down to searching the bottom of his suitcase. Detailed examination needs to take place. Um, anything can be hidden anywhere. Right. That there. Obviously, these are some photos of herself that she's hidden in the back there, I'm assuming. I mean, they're not obviously adult or anything like that. They're just lingerie photos of herself, I believe. Peter is unsure why this woman was hiding a New Zealand SIM card and photos of herself scantily clad, so he goes to check with his supervisor, Nick. <coughs> I've done a cat sea bagger search. I'm just examining your phone, and it appears that there's a couple of texts from a New Zealand phone number in there. And one of the texts has stated uh, that her phone number's been changed to uh, um, a Pacific phone number. You see, there's a heap of them from New Zealand in there. I think immigration might be more of an interest. But... Mm. The other thing was, when looking through her bag, located were some images. There was about seven in total of her posing. She wasn't nude or anything, she did have lingerie on, but they were within a brown envelope concealed on the side um, in the walls of her suitcase. Why she has it, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to obtain a, a translator now just to mm. follow it up. Maybe she might be here um, to work in the adult industry, or maybe she's here for modelling. Oh yeah, I think you're right. I think she could be going to immigration. Linda from Red Zone, are you free at the moment? Linda will be able to interpret Mandarin for Peter in order to explain the woman's phone and photos. She's got a New Zealand um, Vodafone SIM card, so I'm wondering why she got that and why is it hidden in the pills. She's saying that she's got a friend, used to live here. She moved back to Hong Kong, then she, because she lived here before, so she got a SIM card. Then she say, you come, you go to New Zealand, you might need a phone to use, it's too expensive to use the Hong Kong. Plausible, yeah. yeah. What about the photos then? She's saying she's got lots of slimming pills. Slimming pills? No, slimming. Slimming, slimming pills. Yeah. yeah. Then she's thinking her is to make. So she's got some of these photos, which is so what her girl looks like in the photo. Peter can't be certain as to whether the slim traveller is the one in the photo, but they look remarkably similar. So her employment is services. What sort of service is that? <laughs> Linda can also reveal the lady is going to check out a Botox clinic on K Road in the heart of Auckland's red light district. Peter goes back to Nick to report Linda's findings. Um, Linda did note that she was rather agitated when questioning and some of the answers that she was actually giving were a little bit dubious. It's uh, an interesting lady and uh, we'll see what immigration does. Have you got any more? Have you got any more cards on you, business cards? 
No more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Only one. You do speak good English, don't you? Yeah, you do now, don't you? Now that it's finished. No? Look at it. A little bit. Yeah, well, after all that, including getting the translators, you can speak English right now. It's obviously not fluent, but it's a bit broken, but she can understand everything that I say, and she can talk to me back quite well. But this was as close as this Chinese woman got to New Zealand. Immigration refused her entry as her bona fides did not stack up, and she was put on the next plane back to Hong Kong. Flight arriving from Thailand is turning up more than a few biosecurity risks. Uh, okay, this one not allowed. Good boy, you think you? Hello. Hello, buddy. Okay, can you take the flower off of this? Okay, the flowers are not allowed. Good boy. Still okay. merry from their holiday, this Indian family are wearing exotic flowers from Thailand. In order to protect our biosecurity, Liz confiscates the flora. But there's more to come. Uh, we don't want the seeds of this plant material into New Zealand because it may be an evasive type of weed that we don't want to be grown in New Zealand. So we're going to seize that. What we've located here is uh, a couple of seeds. Um, at this stage, we don't know what the um, passengers intend to do with them. But if we put this on a... You can see that this, this particular seed here is actually sprouting. So it's already in the process of growing. To grow this one, flower. Thank you. Yes, yes. It's a verb. What I've done is, uh, because the lady doesn't speak very good English, she's trying to tell me for the garden, the seeds, I've pointed to the flowers here, and so she's clearly um, intending to sow these in the garden somewhere. Thank Despite you. their limited English, the woman has admitted to wanting to plant the hidden seeds in her garden. They are now destined for the bin. The family heads off for a full search. Those are okay. This family has so much luggage, it takes six math quarantine inspectors to search through their bags for any more seeds or plant material. These passengers have come over from India and they're moving to New Zealand. So they've bought a lot of things. So far we've found a small plant cutting and some seeds that they were intending to grow that are prohibited. And the dogs have indicated quite strongly on the bags. Commonly we find things stored in clothing and pockets or um, in between folds of blankets so we just have to have a thorough look through all their goods unfortunately. Well there you go there's a dead fly. The dead fly is the last find in the luggage so the family is free to go and start their new life in New Zealand. The woman received a warning for attempting to bring seeds into the country.